The date was February 15, 1971. On the abandoned Cuyuna Iron Range that morning, the 1972 Scorpion Stinger went up against the top three makes of snowmobiles in the business. The object? To prove in head-to-head -head competition that the 1972 Stinger was the better machine. In a moment, the results of these tests. Back in December, the picture was clear. The Scorpion Stinger was regarded throughout the industry as a reliable machine, superior in almost all respects. Superior in almost all, but not in every respect. That was the goal. To make the Scorpion Stinger first in every single function that's important to a snowmobile owner. First in performance, reliability, ride, appearance, safety. The deadline was two months away. The last possible date when the final version of the 1972 Stinger could go into full production. Night after night, the lights burned on at Scorpion. Inside, eight teams of engineers were assigned to eight specific projects. Clutch, flotation, suspension, track, engine and muffler, controls, cooling, product design. Each of the teams had a single assignment make it the best in the business. This is the team assigned to the clutch. Let's examine the results obtained by this one team as an example of how each of the teams performed. The clutch team was charged with developing a clutch that would transmit more power from the engine to the track than had ever before been possible. As each refinement was made, it was tested by a dynamometer created especially for this project by Scorpion engineers. Refinement followed refinement until just before the deadline, the clutch team came through in the clutch with the clutch. Final tests proved that this Scorpion engineered version could effectively transfer more power to the track than any other clutch available to the consumer. And so it went with each of the eight engineering teams. The deadline arrived and they were ready with the last possible refinement. But still, these were separate components. Each was the best as an individual entity. How would each perform when integrated into a total final assembly? This was the moment of truth. On the tight security quarter mile oval and the quarter mile drag strip in northern Minnesota, the prototype stinger went to the line against the survivors of elimination tests. Engine sizes were identical in order to make test results comparable. The new Scorpion stinger with a 440 ELO. The 1971 Skidoo TNT with a 440 Rotex. The 1971 Arctic Cat Panther with a 440 Kawasaki. The 1971 Yamaha SS with a 433 Yamaha. Each driver was instructed to give it his all, to drive as if he were the factory rep for that machine. Timings were checked by police radar and multiple stopwatches. 